Hey, rock stars, how you doing? Bruce the Beast Patrick here coming at you today for my car. Hey, going out, take my son out deed, go a little Buffalo Wild Wings so I didn't have time to do the video from home. But real quick, hey, what kind of people are attracted to network marketing, affiliate marketing, direct sales? Um, you know, what, who are these people? Why are they attracted? Well, guys, you're going to have a lot of different types of people that are attracted for a lot of different reasons, okay? you got the people who need to make money, right? Uh, they don't have time to get a second job. Maybe they have kids, um, you know, whatever. Um, you'll attract those people and get those people to realize that by just creating a group of, I'll use my company, I'm in, a group of 39 people, that creates a $20,000 uh, yearly income, which is equivalent of a $10 an hour person working for a complete year, okay? So you're going to attract that type of person, okay? You're also going to attract kind of the rebel, right? Uh, kind of the free spirit, the entrepreneur who doesn't want to abide by society's rules about, you know, doing the 40-40 plan, right? 40 hours a week for 40 years for a $40 watch or 40% of what you could live on in the first place. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to say it, but there's a lot of people that have a little bit of rebel to them, you know, just looking for something. Uh, to give them the freedom to travel, to enjoy, things like that. I wish I was stuck with network marketing um, the way I have when I was younger. Uh, because I heard a great quote last night, and I wish I could remember it, but it was basically about you've got to be patient in this industry, and you have to stick with something to let the power of leverage take place, right? You've got to stick around long enough because... A lot of people quit three feet from that goal, right? So, you're gonna get that free spirit. Let's get back on point. You're gonna get that free spirit, the person who just wants to, you know, have total control of their own life, right? And then you're gonna have um, the people who just do it as a hobby, right? Do it as fun. Instead of watching TV, they may jump on the internet, uh, do a few posts, have a little bit of fun. And, you know, create a business at the same time. And you know, have people who, who want to be just stinking rich, right? They want their shot at getting wealthy, uh, living the dream lifestyle, doing every, everything they want to do whenever they want to do it. Okay, so you're going to attract a lot of different people. And remember a statistic I heard, I don't know how true it is, but 50% of the people you'll come in contact just don't have an entrepreneurial bone in their body, right? So there's nothing you can do, nothing you can say. Um, to get these people started with your company. You know, that's why magnetic marketing or uh, attraction marketing has become such a buzzword in the industry for the last, I don't know, seven, eight, nine years, however long it's been. Because you're out there farming for people who have the same type of goals, type, same type of mindset. You know what I mean? Uh, to fall into one of those categories, you know. Uh, they want to make money, they want to, you know, get rich, they need extra money, whatever it is, they're tired of their job, they're worried about their job, you know, they've gone broke before and they don't ever want to go through it again, you know, you know, they want that safety blanket, because there's no safety blanket out there in corporate America or in any job out there, you know, my one of my favorite watering holes that uh, we used to go to suddenly just went out of business. Uh, close the doors, right? And that happens. It happens in life, happens in the real world. It just is. But imagine those people who worked there. Now all of a sudden they have to go out and find a different job. No fault of their own, but they have to go out and find a different job. Same thing when some network marketing companies close their doors, right? There's some people that have been doing that full time. Now they got to go out there and find something else, okay? But the thing is about this industry, it's about relationships, it's about people. Because it's not hard. It really isn't hard. It's not digging a ditch eight hours a day or ten hours a day. It's not, you know, being a furniture mover or a home mover, which guys out here in Arizona is a job I would never want to do. I've moved myself before and I hated it. Okay? <laughs> Excuse me. So, there's all kinds of different people you're going to attract. Just be yourself. Go out there. Put your posts out. Find the people that can relate to, you know, relate to you. You know, find something 
it's a simple formula. Remember, people get into this industry to make money, not spend money. Uh, over the years, I've developed some certain criteria that that I look for when getting involved, and, and you learn through trial and error, basically, right? Uh, it just is what it is. There's great vitamins, potions, pills, whatever's out there. There's a lot of stuff, but today I like more of the digital platform stuff. And, you know, one of the things to do right now is investments, which is a totally unique niche market. Guy, the scale here is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you live up to your expectations with yourself. And I hope you raise those expectations daily. So I'm out of here.